guys and welcome back. I am Monica from the Homesteading Housewife. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm getting a lot of new uh, subscribers here lately, so I wanted to say hi and actually show my face. Um, we are right in the middle of some gardening season, so I'm trying to get videos out, but garden's coming first. Um, also, hand, fingers are currently stained. Because of being in the dirt, they are not dirty. I wash my hands quite often. Um, but I always get a comment during garden season about my nails. But I always forget to wear those, um, my gardening gloves. But I digress. Today I'm going to bring you along for a fresh pea recipe. Um, now you could use frozen peas for this. And you are going to laugh when you see the amount of peas that I have. Um, but I still wanted to bring you along for the recipe because I'm going to eat it. Uh, I'm going to eat my bounty. So, there's my peas. So, obviously, mine that I'm showing you today is going to be a single serve um, or like a half a serving. This is what I harvested yesterday from um, quite a few plants. <laughs> but. This is what I got. Um, and then it's red onions also from little baby red onions from my garden from yesterday. Um, it's a super simple recipe. It is so easy to make and it is so refreshing and delicious. It's a perfect summer potluck, picnic, whatever. Um, but you can totally uh, quadruple, you know, whatever this recipe. Um, there's no real measurements. It's just a taste. So, um, yeah. Also, I made a video garden update yesterday and then this morning accidentally deleted all the footage so I will bring you along for a June update later this week um, I'll try to film one but for right now I hope you stick around we're gonna make some pea salad okay so like I said it is super simple mine is of course a very small amount recipe uh, because it's all I have. But by golly, George, I am eating my fresh peas because they are one of the few vegetables that I can eat raw uh, for whatever reason. No idea why. But so I have my wonderful amount of peas in there. And then I did one small red onion, like my little green onion, but it's a red onion. Um, I just kind of sliced it since it was tiny and stuck it in there so you can see the ratio. And then we are adding some mayo and that is probably way too much mayo oh well we're gonna work with it we're gonna work with it so there's our mayo and then you want to add some cheese now this is a triple cheddar that I am using Boom. and then you want to add some bacon and this is just from this morning otherwise I probably wouldn't have added it in not for this small of an amount. Like if I was making a big bowl, absolutely I would have added in the bacon. I'm saying for this particular bowl. But okay, that's it. We're gonna stir it up and add some black pepper. Okay, black pepper is stirred in and there we go. So I know, I know it is a small amount, but you get the gist of this awesome recipe and I will still try it for you um, I do not add salt if I am adding bacon um, just FYI so be careful on that but let's try it mm. oh it's so good it's so light refreshing and easy like this is so easy to make and you could add fresh herbs to this if you wanted I'm not going to I am eating it exactly like it is and just enjoying my fresh peas from my garden what a better way to enjoy it than with a nice salad and honestly for me this is the perfect amount for a side dish so if you wanted a single serve there you go so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time thanks for watching 